What's going on Jigsaw? It's Mr. Mineral and today I'm talking about that infographic you've seen everywhere that lays out the different kinds of magnesium out there. This time I'm going to expand in detail what each magnesium does for you and how you might be able to apply it and how you also might be able to look into Jigsaw products to get a little bit more out of your magnesium. The first one is magnesium chloride. Okay, magnesium chloride is super good for metabolic function and for detoxing. It's about a 12% bioavailability, but it's extremely potent. So it works very, very well for just a nice general flow of magnesium. Okay, the next one is magnesium citrate. Now, generally speaking, magnesium citrate is not recommended. And the simple reason is it interferes with something called sereloplasmin. That sereloplasmin is sort of what regulates the balance between iron and copper. Sereloplasmin carries copper throughout the body. So without that sereloplasmin, make it so we have an overabundance of iron, which can lead to a lot of issues. And additionally, mag citrate is a pretty powerful laxative. Next up is magnesium glycinate, okay? Magnesium glycinate is bound with the amino acid glycine, okay? Which is a very calming amino acid to begin with. So this one is really good for calming effects. Taking before you go to bed, taking when you need to relax. It is a chelated form of magnesium, which means that it absorbs a lot faster as well. It's also absorbed through the intestine, which means that it's not going to cause a laxative effect. It's absorbed through your intestinal tract before it ever gets a chance to cause that issue of smooth muscle relaxation in the intestinal tract. Then we've got magnesium malate. Magnesium malate is energizing. Okay, it's the kind that you'd want to take if you're working out a lot. You see, it aids in ATP production, which is adenosine triphosphate, which is what we need to produce energy, to contract our muscles, to lift weights, to run, and all of that. It is also a chelated form, which means it has a higher level of bioavailability. Then we have mag oxide. Okay, mag oxide is good taken throughout the day in small doses. It's usually bound to a fatty acid, so it's oxidized that way. And it's really good for just taking throughout the day and getting a nice sustained release. But it has pretty low bioavailability, which is why you generally would have to take it throughout the course of the day. Because you'd have a small bump and then it would cascade on down and you wouldn't have any in your system. Then we've got magnesium sulfate, which is also known as Epsom salt. Epsom salt is not a salt, it's a magnesium. Then we've got magnesium orotate. Magnesium orotate is one of my favorites. I really like it simply because it penetrates all the way through the cell. So mag orotate is really good for overall cellular health, for energy, but also for cardiovascular health because it can actually penetrate into those cells, into the cytoplasm and do what it needs to do. Lastly, we've got magnesium threonate. Okay, magnesium threonate is very, very good at dealing with mental things. There's been a lot of studies that have actually proven that this kind of magnesium positively affects your short-term memory and your long-term memory quite dramatically. So if you're someone that's dealing with some anxiety, maybe a little bit of depression, maybe you're just dealing with some funky stuff in your life, that might be a good one to take. So as always, keep it locked in here with Jigsaw Health for Science Saturdays, Funny Fridays, Muscle Mondays, Ash Wednesdays, and all the good stuff that's teaching you about magnesium awareness so that you can get the most out of your life, but also get the most out of those overshadowed minerals that we don't care enough about. I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.